Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video I'd like to take a quick look at the Russell Index, uh, in particular on a three minute chart of the Russell Inbe Index for yesterday which was Monday December the 19th. So this is Monday December the 19th. I'd like to just look at this as a standard MT Predictor trader would, uh, would view this so without any advanced analysis and uh, this means basically using the STF color which is our indicator at the bottom here this is really easy this basically gives the larger degree trend on the chart you're uh, following and so for this three minute trend <coughs> sorry this three minute chart uh, if the STF is blue the larger degree trend is up if the, F if the STF is black the larger degree degree trend is flat if the STF is red the larger degree trend is down so quite simply for a standard trader these are people who first come to MT predictor and uh, want to start trading right out of the out of the box so to speak <clears throat> we suggest that you filter the trades so you follow the trades that are in the direction of the STF color uh, we do uh, override this for advanced traders and that's what we go into with our advanced training uh, three times a week in the uh, in our training trading webinars where we use the the 15 minute chart with our DPs and WPTs to get a uh, an earlier uh, indication of the large degree trend but for new traders we keep it simple and basically you look at the STF color and go in the direction of that so as you can see there were no trade setups here early in the day so if I zoom in we had one sell setup here now this was with a red STF so it was a good trade setup to take uh, but also I want to mention this one here which was a history triangle uh, in MT predictor any trade that um, if I put the analysis on I'll show you what I mean here any trade that uh, would have been um, signaled at the time would have been filled and then the market would have stopped you out we actually uh, label with what we call a history triangle so if I take this off the history triangles appear as little as they say little triangles in history so it means that you can always see every potential trade setup that would have been filled on the chart as you look at it in other words we don't hide anything but as you can see this one was a buy setup but it was against our red STF so therefore it had been avoided so for yesterday on the Russell index there would only have been one uh, set up and that would have been this one here so let's place the analysis on again very easy to do because things are available off the right click uh, menu so we right click here's our right click menu we select automatic setup including RR so we click on that then we click on the correctly colored reversal bar because we're looking to enter a new short trade we look for the red cell reversal bar and there's one just there so we click on that that places our WPT <coughs> resistance areas on in this case also place our targets on here which is our targets down here we also have our position sizing uh, remember we use the correct position sizing to vary the number of contracts or lots or shares depending on what you're trading to keep our initial risk at a small uh, and constant value <coughs> that's the trick in being able to have a constant and similar risk across all your trade setups and that's the only true way to um, keep your losses small and your profits large across all your trade setups so what this does is we look at our uh, in this case a sample um, account of twenty thousand dollars and we say we're only risking two percent of that so therefore the software looks at that and says right for <clears throat> this entry price and this stop price which we've got here you can only trade four contracts to keep your risk under two percent of the twenty thousand uh, dollars obviously you can uh, change the risk percentage and you can change the account value uh, for your own preferences but we suggest less than two percent or one or two percent uh, <clears throat> when you're trading futures so here the position sizing would have told you to sell or go short four contracts at this level our initial stop price is also placed on the chart and as you can see here the market took you into a trade went down went back up again but did not take out the stop trigger so in other words the short trade would have not have been stopped out market then went down nicely to our first target at this level we have our risk reward uh, projected at that level so we know what the potential profit would be at this level uh, in this case it would be 8.9 R in other words the three thousand two hundred dollar potential profit is 8.9 times the initial risk of three hundred and sixty dollars 
Now we come down to our STF again. <clears throat> so when the market reaches our first target, standard trade management guidelines say come down to the STF and we look whether it's what we call either weak or strong. For this we see whether the indicator is above or beyond our strength band, which is our grey lines you can see here. So on this bar here, if I go down, you can see that the STF is less than our strength band, so therefore we consider this weak, and as such we come out at the WPT target. If it was strong, we'd use our ATR stop, which is our little red dots here, to then uh, trail the, uh, the trade a little bit further. <clears throat> but in this case, we'd have come out at the first target for a lovely 8.9 hour profit. So overall, it was a very good day on the Russell Index yesterday, where we only had two potential trade setups. The second one here was against our STF, so standard traders would have avoided it. This first one here was a lovely trade setup that came in the direction of the STF, so therefore it was a good one for standard traders to take. Position sizing told us how many contracts to trade, at what level, and what stop price to do. Market went down to our first target beautifully, where we had a very nice profit of what we call 8.9 risk units. In other words, the potential profit at this level was 8.9 times greater than the initial risk. And that is the key to successful trading, is identifying trade setups where you enter the market with a small controlled risk and where you have profits that are much larger than the losses. So over time you truly can have trade setups where the losses are kept small and the profits are kept large.